Hi all, welcome to my channel. We are now discussing exercise 3.3 Trigonometry Functions, Chapter 3, Class 11 Max. We start from question 16. Okay, first we discuss 16th question. Cos 9x minus cos 5x divided by sin 17x minus sin 3x equal to negative sin 2x divided by cos 10x. Here LHS is cos 9x minus cos 5x divided by sin 17x minus sin 3x. We have the identity cos x minus cos y and sin x minus sin y. Cos x minus cos y equal to minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2. And sin x minus sin y equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2. We can use this identity for solving this. That is equal to minus 2 sin 9x plus 5x by 2 sin 9x minus 5x by 2 divided by 2 cos 17x plus 3x by 2 sin 17x minus 3x by 2. Calculating these, we got minus 2 sin 7x sin 2x divided by 2 cos 10x sin 7x. Here, 2 sin 7x is common to both numerator and denominator. We can cancel this and we got the final result minus negative sin 2x divided by cos 10x. That is equal to RHS. Okay. Next, 18. Question number 18. Sin 5x plus sin 3x divided by cos 5x plus cos 3x equal to tan 4x. Here LHS is sin 5x plus sin 3x divided by cos 5x plus cos 3x. We have the identity sin x plus sin y and cos x plus cos y. Sin x plus sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2 and cos x plus cos y equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2. Using this identity, we can write 2 sin 5x plus 3x by 2 cos 5x minus 3x by 2 divided by 2 cos 5x plus 3x by 2 cos 5x minus 3x by 2. That is equal to 2 sin 8x by 2 cos 2x by 2 divided by 2 cos 8x by 2 cos 2x by 2. Solving this, we got 2 sin 4x cos x divided by 2 cos 4x cos x. Here, 2 cos x is common to both numerator and denominator. We can cancel this. That is, sin 4x divided by cos 4x. Sin x by cos x equal to tan x. So, we can write that is equal to tan 4x. That is RHS. Okay. Next question. Sin x minus sin y divided by cos x plus cos y equal to tan x minus y by 2. This is a direct question. We know the identity sin x minus sin y and cos x plus cos y. Using this identity, we can write 2 cos x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2 and 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2. Here, 2 cos x plus y by 2, 2 cos x plus y by 2 is common to both numerator and denominator. We cancel these terms. Then we got sin x minus sin x minus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2. That is equal to tan x minus y by 2. Okay. Next question. 19. Sin x plus sin 3x divided by cos x plus cos 3x equal to tan 2x. We have LHS is sin x plus sin 3x divided by cos x plus cos 3x. We know the identity sin x plus sin y and cos x plus cos y. Sin x plus sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2 and cos x plus cos 3 is equal to sorry cos x plus cos y is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2. Using this identity we can write 
2 sin x plus 3x by 2 cos x minus 3x by 2 divided by 2 cos x plus 3x by 2 cos x minus 3x by 2. That is equal to 2 sin 2x cos of minus x divided by 2 cos 2x cos of minus x. Here cos of minus x is common to both numerator and denominator. 2 and 2 are also common in numerator and denominator. We can cancel these common terms. We got sin 2x divided by cos 2x. That is equal to tan 2x. That is RHS. Okay. Next question 20. Sin x minus sin 3x divided by sin square x minus cos square x equal to 2 sin x. Here LHS is sin x minus sin 3 x divided by sin square x minus cos square x. We can take negative in outside from both numerator and denominator. That is negative sin 3 x minus sin x divided by negative cos square x minus sin square x. Okay. Why we take negative outside? We know the equation cos square x minus sin square x. We know the equation cos square x minus sin square x. We want to substitute that equation in the denominator. So we take negative outside. At the same time we take negative outside from the numerator also. Okay. Then negative and negative cancelled. Then sin 3x minus sin x can be written as 2 cos 3x plus x by 2 sin 3x minus x by 2 using that identity. Divided by cos square x minus sin square is cos 2x. We know that cos square x minus sin square is equal to cos 2x. Cos square x minus sin square x equal to cos 2x. So we got 2 cos 2x sin x divided by cos 2x. Here cos 2x and cos 2x are common in both numerator and denominator. So the balance term is 2 sin x. That is equal to RHS. Okay. Question number 21. Cos 4x plus cos 3x plus cos 2x divided by sin 4x plus sin 3x plus sin 2x. Here LHS equal to cos 4x plus cos 3x plus cos 2x divided by sin 4x plus sin 3x plus sin 2x. Cos 4x and cos 2x in a bracket. That is cos 4x plus cos 2x plus cos 3x. And also sin 4x and sin 2x in bracket. Sin 4x plus sin 2x plus sin 3x. Okay. Then using the identity cos x plus cos y and sin x plus sin y. Here cos x plus cos y equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2 and sin x plus sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2. Using this we can write 2 cos 6x by 2 cos 2x by 2 plus cos 3x and in denominator 2 sin 4x plus 2x by 2 cos 4x minus 2x by 2 plus sin 3x. Look here cos 3x is common in numerator and sin 3x is common in denominator. We can take common terms outside that is cos 3x into 2 cos x plus 1. And sin 3 x into 2 cos x plus 1. Here 2 cos x plus 1 is common to both numerator and denominator. We cancel this term. Then we got cos 3 x divided by sin 3 x. That is equal to cos 3 x. That is RHS. Okay.